Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video. Today I'm going to be watching The Devil's Advocate by Taylor Hackford, starring Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. Hackford is a director I barely know about. All I know is that he directed Ray, but I haven't watched it or any of his other films, I believe. The Devil's Advocate, on the other hand, is a film I'm fairly familiar with as I've seen ads for it on TV over the years. As you guys already know, I'm a huge fan of both Keanu and um, Pacino. I've watched plenty of their films over the years and uh, quite a few of them on the channel, so do check them out. About the film itself, I know that it's either a horror or a thriller film. Reeves plays a lawyer and Pacino plays the mentor character, I think. From the ads, I remember uh, him playing a version of the devil or the devil himself. I'm not too sure. I guess we'll find out soon enough. But before we get into it, to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page for full-length reviews and reactions to this movie and over 120 films and TV shows, early access and weekly polls for what to watch next. You'll need your own copy to watch along. The link's in the description below, by the way. Please consider being a patron. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you like this video, dislike it if you didn't. With all that being said, let's get started. The Devil's Advocate, Hackford, Reeves, Pacino. Let's go. Wow. This is a pretty unique intro. The Devil's Advocate. And is that what you did on the day in question? Oh, they're in court. Mr. Geddes asked me to stay after class. Before I could say anything, he put, he placed his hand inside my blouse. Then his other hand went up under inside my skirt. And then with his hand, he started moving back and forth. He said he was testing to see if I had any special feelings. Oh, that's sick. He's guilty. And then I screamed. Then he got mad and said we would have to try <laughs> this is to get crazy some visual time. storytelling. Holy crap. Did he try again? Not with me. And I think Keanu Reeves' character, he's realizing it. Any chance you're running for a short recess? Of course. What's wrong? Lloyd, as your attorney, I'm advising you to keep the fuck away from me. He's clearly disgusted. Look at Keanu Reeves, guys. That man, he doesn't age. He looks quite literally the same now. Well, hell, there you are. Young lawyers' unblemished string of victories would come to an end. Oh, and he's undefeated, which puts him in a more difficult position. Nobody wins them all. What a moral dilemma. And I just noticed no music has been used yet. He's a huge hog beast. He probably eats a thousand pancakes for breakfast. Have you ever played the game Special Places? Oh man, I can't believe what she's going through right now. So you made up a story. A special story. A story about a math teacher who was tough on you. In reality, uh, lawyers don't get to scream at witnesses like that. Charlie Theron. Holy crap, Charlie Theron. I didn't know she was in this film. So, Kev, off the record. How's it feel to squeeze a man like Geddes through the door of reasonable <gasps> doubt? He won the case, I think. <laughs> okay. I think they're a couple and they're pretty free-spirited. We've been following your progress. From New York. The card is great. From the black thing, you being black. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Oh, he thinks <laughs> it's a prank. They don't show the amount, but it has to be outrageous for him to have that facial expression. <laughs> Why do I feel the hand of Mary Ann on this adventure? It's the mother, okay. She's religious. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. It has become a dwelling place of demons. Oh, man. Revelation 18. I couldn't forget it if I tried. Oh, really? And the light of a single lamp shall shine in thee no more. But they're going to be looking for that payment, and if it's not there, they're going to repo the car, okay? Well, she has a solid accent as well. They're both very versatile actors. Very beautiful establishing shots of New York. Uh, Your Honor, may I have a minute, please, to confer with my colleagues? They're selecting a jury, okay. 
While you're at it, let's get rid of number four, six, and I'd say lose number 12, except the prosecutor's gonna fuck up and do it for us. And woe betide the creature who steps into his garden. Okay. And number six, your favorite, she's damaged goods. He can read people. We'd like to excuse jurors three, four, and six. Yeah, the music choice is very mysterious. Al Pacino. I wonder how he'll come into play or how he relates to the story. They deliberated for 38 minutes. What the hell did they expect? The man is as guilty as can be. Not fucking guilty! Damn. Oh my god, you boys! <laughs> uh, He's admiring the view. That's a woman in red. I wonder whether she's meant to represent temptation. This is a pretty unique office. John Mill. Oh, nice to meet you. He's one of the partners then of the law firm. Have we been treating you well? Very well, thank you. And your wife? She had a good time? She sure has. It's been great. 64 straight convictions. <sighs> what a streak. That math teacher, the Gettys case. Now I hear you were brilliant. So you think your guy was guilty? I began the case with a clear conscience. Oh, what a way to put it. I began the case with a clear conscience. Your father, what does he do? I never got to know my father. My mother raised me. She never remarried? She wasn't married the first time. Maybe that's why she became religious. Your mother, what's she like? She's a preacher's daughter. She's tough. Oh, and she was a preacher's daughter. Behold, I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. Mm. It's so nice of you to come by. Oh, please, we live across the hall. Be careful, I don't have a map. I don't want you getting lost on me. We have them paint everything white. Let you see it naked before you pick your panel. You want to go home? I'm with you. Good husband. The whole team. Welcome to Milton Chatwick and Water. I like this set, too. And I prepared at Mr. Milton's request an overview of the Moyes case. They're slaughtering a goat? Is it some kind of ritual? He wants to see if I'll plea bargain. It's a test, right? Isn't everything? Again, I think that was a double meaning. I like the fact that Hackford is taking his time to set up the story and establish his characters. You need him? Speak with him? Show him your boots. This is the third time this director focused on shoes. Yeah, I think that was a ritual with the goat. Dude, I know this actor. Was he in Escape from New York? I think color is important in this film. What are you doing, Mr. Moyes? With this tongue, we create silence. You will have all the help I can give you. It's Arbor Green, what you think? Not with your complexion. Marianne, I'm just trying to help. I mean, it's your walls. Do what you want. Hmm. She's having a hard time settling in. Men kill animals and eat their flesh. Philippe Moyes killed a goat. He killed a goat. Mr. Marjo? <coughs> Is this tongue swelling up like... Congratulations, great job. Thanks. Wow, he won again. Always young. Kevin, what can I say? He's walking around with $15 million in his bank account. Holy crap, he's rich. Well, what do you think he's paying us in, goat's blood? You gotta keep yourself small. I'm the hand of Mona Lisa's skirt. <laughs> I'm a surprise, Kevin. Again, a double move. They don't see me coming. They don't see me coming. That's what you're missing. Great, great line delivery by Pacino. Mayor, what happened to the green? I love the green. Honey, you're late. I'm not gonna handle this. You can handle this. He's gorgeous. Say something nice. He doesn't look too bad either. <sighs> Promise me you won't leave me alone in there. Promise. Right. Kevin, someone you must meet. Excuse me, Ryan. This is very important. Kevin is from Florida. Again, she's wearing red. Kevin. Again, I think this is temptation. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity for Kevin. The way Kevin is looking at her. You should pull your hair back. <laughs> Do it. See what happens. Right. 
You've got to cut your hair. It's almost like he's working her, almost seducing her. And she's drinking red wine. She has red hair. <laughs> Can it be more obvious? Excuse me, Jackie. Mm. You guys seen Kevin anywhere? No. Oh, dear. I'm gonna scare you away. No. I see the future of this law firm. Yep, I do not stare at you, Arashaw. <laughs> Holy crap. That's another crazy office. Alex Cullen has just been charged with murdering his wife, her stepson, and a maid. I want Kevin on this case. You're dreaming. Look at his facial expression. I just don't see this happening. I want John boarded. He's just superseding him. Again, that's red. I think it just symbolized his temptation to take this job somehow. I had to bail on the part. You bailed on me. She has a point. This is my ass we're talking about, John Eddie. Alex, you know how this town works. Your prints are on the murder weapon. How do you know that? There's a second print in blood. I didn't kill anybody. I like the fact that it's being kept ambiguous, whether he's guilty or innocent. You better be every fucking inch as good as he says you are. Pressure. Again, great writing. You know what you should do? You should buy it, wear it once, and then throw it away. Nudity? I did not expect that. Go ahead. No, no, no. That's the ultimate test. Come on. Mm, awkward. She's not comfortable at all. What the f fudge? I don't like it here, Kevin. She's getting the creeps. You do this radical thing to your hair. No. You hate I didn't even notice the haircut. Holy crap. She did change her haircut. What about Kathy? What about your sister? What about her? She's pregnant again. Oh. That's got nothing to do with this. She wanted to have kids. It's like a test. The whole thing is like one big test. And God. The cinematography isn't like in your face with beautiful visuals. The, the visuals are more subtle here. And little things like color matter. Oh, whoa. He's seeing things now. It's Christabella. He's fantasizing, I think. That's disturbing. <laughs> and uncomfortable. I wonder what Christabella means. Bella is beautiful and Christa is probably Christ. Beautiful Christ? Where are you? I think she's seeing to it. Another solid establishing shot of the heavens. Now, give me the gun. I gotta protect myself. That's my job. I have a feel to get the biggest murder trial in New York. Oh, what a bad timing. It's his mother. This is your mother. Yes. Mom, this is John, John Milton. Milton. Alice Lomax. It's a pleasure. Mmm. She doesn't like him immediately. This isn't really your first visit to New York now, is it? Mrs. Lomax. She's so uncomfortable. You can see it in her eyes. I think he's seeing things again. Let's talk tomorrow. Man, Pacino's performance. Mom, what are you doing? I'm going home, Kevin. What? What are you talking about? I don't feel right. This place is not good for her, Kevin. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to temptation. Temptation. Mr. Cullen didn't kill those people. I know him. He's a difficult man, but he couldn't kill anyone. Who the hell knows what Eddie's up to? What the fuck are you looking at? Cut your fucking throat, man. Fuck that shit. Maricela. Su esposa. El momento que saliste de apartamento. Ella estaba arriba con Carlos. What the? Él se la va a meter por el culo. Dude! You still got time. Now. <laughs> Holy crap, that's Don King. I don't respect the bat at all because he stole a lot of money from a lot of athletes, but I have to admit he's a big promoter. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh no, she's going to start seeing things again, man. She might be sleeping. Are you okay? Oh God, no! What the? There is no blood. It was a dream. Yeah, I think. Where it was a dream. I think he'll start thinking she's crazy. They took my ovaries, Kevin. That's what the baby was playing with. Kevin, I can't have children. What? Holy crap, that must break her. Your prenuptial agreement's on file at the firm. The contract is null and void in the event of marital infidelity. You fuck around, she gets rich. That's a motive, Alex. Alessandra. Alessandra, wait! Alex. Alessandra. I want you to drop this case. She's sick. Everyone will understand. I'll understand. What about Cohen? We find somebody new. He's giving the option to leave. I quit the case. She gets better. And I hate her for it. And when all that evidence is laid before you. I wonder whether free will is a theme in this film. I don't like Alexander Cohen. I want you to ask yourself, is not liking this man reason enough to convict him of murder? Planting the seeds in the jury's head. Because as long as you're out boning Melissa, you're not home killing your wife. Why don't you say something before? Well, How the fuck is your name getting the firm's charter? I don't know what you're talking about, but I sure as hell don't like the tone of your voice. You think you're tough enough to run this firm? Tell your mentor. The next time Weaver calls me, maybe I'll just pick up the phone. Was he drunk? I doubt it. I've warned him every step of the way. Watching him bounce around like a fucking game. And where can you go from there? Hey, wrong way! Yeah, yeah. I think he's in danger. <sighs> you gotta pay your own way, Eddie! <laughs> Is Marianne seeing this? But guess what? You're all alone, Eddie. Demonic faces on the holy crap, that's unsettling. I think she just witnessed the murder. Maybe it's true. Maybe God threw the dice once too often. What's happening? And the news probably spread now about Eddie. He's dead. He was killed. When? Last night, in the park. I know she's lying! She's lying. Maybe it's your time to lose. I think all this talk about losing is just motivating him further. <laughs> wow, he won the case. Where is she? Church of the Heavenly Hope. What happened? He... he fucked me. I don't know, I just I couldn't stop him. I think it's true, but... It went. Today... Kevin's not gonna believe that. You have to believe me! No! Oh, no! He did this to me! No! Oh, man. Everything is making sense except for Milton's motivations. What is he getting out of this? Blood money, Kevin. We just drank it down, both of us. Child of God. And it is His eyes are wandering too much. Dude, why are your eyes going there? Now we have more traditional church organ music. I'm a friend of Eddie Barzoom. Dude, that was so creepy. The Gettys case, eighth grade teacher. He had the body of a 10 year old girl in the trunk of his car. Holy crap. Oh! And look at the smile on his face like he knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, the mom is here. Oh, I could have told you the truth. Your father was a waiter in that restaurant. Oh! Honey, please listen. Now? Oh! You do this now! Behold, I send you out as sheep amidst the wolves. Oh man, that's something John Milton said. Holy crap, I, I had my suspicions. I think she just confirmed it. See? <laughs> Marianne, open the door. Marianne, open the door! Oh. 
there was a huge revelation in that scene which was overshadowed by Marianne's death. Milton, he's your That's Milton's motivation. He's the father. Kevin! I have to go. Honey. I have to go. Wait! Wow. Putting aside that, can you imagine the logistics of clearing up an entire street like that? The production? What a beautiful shot. Yeah, I think we're near the climax now. I don't make things happen. Doesn't work like that. Wow, the visual effects. Marianne and I got it on at about... Favon. Fuck you! Oh! 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 Got me! Got me! <laughs> Holy crap, bullets do nothing. I'm a little more than that, Kevin. I love the lighting work in this scene. Call me dad. Oh! <laughs> That's... <laughs> Call me dad. She knew it, so you destroyed her. You blaming me for Marianne? Oh, I hope you're kidding. That's right. I told you to take care of your wife. He did. What did he... I say? The world would understand. Didn't I say that? You set me up. He had free will. He had free will. Who made that choice? You played me! Maybe it was your time to lose. You didn't think so. Lose? I don't lose! Blind ambition. Vanity is definitely my favorite sin. It's awesome how far you've come. I didn't make it easy. Not for you or your sister. Half-sister to be exact. <gasps> what do you want from me? God likes to watch. He's a prankster. <laughs> Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. He's talking about the apple at the Garden of Eden. He's laughing his sick fucking ass off. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, is that it? I've heard that before. I've nurtured every sensation man has been inspired to have. You must need me pretty bad. What do you want? That's the right question. That's my question. I want you to take over the firm. Be his successor? You and your sister. She's ovulating. Oh. Right now. What? Your vanity is justified. Your seed is the key to a new future. Your son is going to sit at the head of all tables. Uh, oh. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I have to volunteer. Free will. It is a bitch. <laughs> wow, what a line. Free will <laughs> is a bitch. <gasps> I need help. I'm busy. Millennium's coming, sir. Time negotiating. Always. Always. <gasps> Oh, great writing. Wow. I think those are lost souls or something. Hello, Mexico. This is so messed up. Got the shit, Dad. Why lawyers? You just call them Dad. It's the new priesthood, baby. Wow, what a way to Did put it. Did you know there are more students in law school than there are lawyers walking the earth? We're destined to lose, Dad. Well, consider the source, son. <gasps> wow, what a line. Consider the source, so... That's just God's word, not Satan's. Who am I? Dude, they're mocking Jesus. He's giving in to temptation again. I've wanted you from the moment we met. Fudge. You're right. It's time. Free will, right? Effect. What the? F Holy crap! This is crazy imagery. Ugh, probably her true form. Yeah! Angel wings. I wonder what that's supposed to represent. Yeah! What? What? Uh... Did you just imagine all that? Is he being given a second chance? But this time around, I don't think he's going to give in to the temptation. The third act, the final 20 or 30 minutes have been insane. But I can no longer represent my client. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. 
Is story? This is the one, pal. This is the one you dream there about. There is no story. You're a star. Call me in the morning. <gasps> Did he just give in to temptation again? Jeez! Vanity. Vanity. Definitely my favorite sin. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. What an ending. I think it might keep resetting till Kevin gives in to his vanity. Okay, I took some time to collect my thoughts. First off, that was a crazy movie, guys. It was, it was so good. I don't even know where to start with this review. The performances by the cast, they were excellent, especially uh, Theron and uh, Pacino. The writing was on point. The cinematography was subtle, but had so much depth to it. Uh, the lack of music in certain scenes was chilling. And I felt it was somewhat sim uh, similar to another film by Richard Donner I watched on the channel, The Omen, that also deals with the birth of the Antichrist. The only criticism I had of the film was probably some of the pacing and editing work, although it wasn't bad at all. Let's get started with the directing by Taylor Hackford and um, the screenplay by Jonathan Lemkin and Tony Gilroy. The writers and directors start the story off pretty slow and they take a lot of time establishing the main characters of the film. In fact, the entire first act was about uh, Kevin and Marianne moving to New York and settling into this massive apartment. The interesting thing is that Pacino's Milton was not introduced till almost the second act, and even when he is introduced, he's kept relatively mysterious. I like that. I wonder whether the theatrical audience, when they watched it, whether they realized that Milton was the devil early on. Since I saw ads for it over the years, that was not a big revelation for me. I kind of figured that. The two biggest surprises for me were the father and half-sister revelation. Oh. Especially how the mother reveals it in two parts. Thematically, I think the two most important ones were temptation and free will. I think the entire film was a test for Kevin, and the idea of a test is brought up multiple times. There were other minor themes like um, lust, vanity, ambition, and the will to win at any cost. I mean, Milton did give Kevin an opportunity to walk away when, when, when Marianne was sick and she was in the hospital, but he says that he will focus on her after the case is won. And that is something that Kevin does not follow through later. That's something I noted. Furthermore, the way Kevin was looking at Christabella, even at the beginning, it just wasn't right. You saw that, right? The final act was also very telling when Milton indirectly mentions the apple, and, and that was a clear reference to the apple of temptation at the Garden of Eden. I think the writing was probably the highlight of the film for me. Uh, closely followed by Pacino's performance. The last 20 minutes were truly insane. I was having the hardest time figuring out what Milton's ultimate motivations were, because think about it, if he were the actual devil, why was he involved in petty human affairs like law cases and stuff? But the reveal answered almost everything. He wanted to manipulate Kevin into exercising his free will to create the Antichrist with his half-sister. <laughs> That's what all of this was for. I, and I think the ending itself was intentionally kept ambiguous and open to interpretation. Personally, I think that it wasn't a dream. I think the whole ordeal was a test for Kevin, quite literally. When he failed the test by killing himself, um, exercising his free will, Milton just reset the timeline and tried a different approach. This time through the through that reporter and sadly Kevin falls for it once again when 60 minutes is mentioned. I think he, he, he can't help himself. It went to show that Kevin is fundamentally that person and he's unlikely to change. And that is the reason Milton is trying again, knowing eventually he's going to break through and Kevin was going to give in to his temptation. Again, fantastic fantastically written and fairly well directed. The cinematography of this film was very subtle and not flashy at all. The devil was in the details. 
<laughs> no pun intended. Um, apart from a few, a few beautiful establishing shots of New York, most of the film was shot with standard frames and lenses. But that's not what the cinematography was about at all. It was about the use of colors, uh, with red being the most prominent one. Red clearly symbolized uh, temptation and desire. And in almost every scene she was in, Christabella was dressed in red. It was a mind game almost. I also loved how Milton was framed during a final act with the fireplace in the background, almost like um, hell. The other imagery, like the changing faces and the moving artwork were also fantastic and some of them were genuinely unsettling. The editing of this film was pretty good, especially the scene to scene stuff. I had no complaints in that department. Everything was clear and concise and I had no troubles in following the plot. I would say the editor did a very good job in keeping the story mysterious as possible, but I did feel like the second act of the film was a little too long while the climax was too short. And that's what I meant when I said the pacing seemed a bit off. It didn't take away from the film, but the extra length sure didn't add much. The music in this film was by James Newton Howard. He's a great composer. His score here was extremely minimal. He intentionally kept it minimal, I think, to intensify the creepy factor. And let me tell you, it worked like a charm. The times the music was used uh, was mostly during the transitional scenes and uh, the score sounded very dark with whispers and demonic voices and some church organs to <laughs> reinforce it. Really good stuff. Keanu Reeves was very good in his role as Kevin Lomax. He played the confident lawyer role to perfection, I think, until the third act. It felt like he was in control of every scene, which he, he, he clearly wasn't as we find out. That's a hard thing to convey to the audience. I really enjoyed his character arc and I found it kind of sad in the way because his character was almost redeemed at the end when he chooses not to defend that rapist but immediately takes the offer from the reporter again when 60 Minutes is mentioned. Ultimately we have to question whether his character changes at all. Charles Theron as Marianne was even better than Keanu Reeves in her role. She played the wife that slowly loses her mind excellently. Everything from her accent to her change in demeanor and personality, she really nailed the role. It was horrifying to watch, watch her trying to convince her husband to leave all this behind and go back home with him. All the while him thinking that she was slowly going insane. The best performance of this film was easily Al Pacino as John Milton, the devil. And I think the excellent script really brought out the best in him. He played his character with so much charisma and dark undertones. It's, it's really a sign of a seasoned actor, somebody who knows what he's doing. His mannerisms to his body language, to his perfect line delivery, to that smirk he had. That's why he's considered one of the best actors of all time. The man is a true chameleon. He can play a hero, a villain, an anti-hero, and in this case, the Prince of Darkness himself. I loved his performance, and I personally rate this performance very highly in his long and illustrious career. As I've mentioned, the uh, main criticism I had of this film, uh, the pacing of the second and third act, overall, the Devil's Advocate was a horrifying thriller with a great layered script and amazing performances by Pacino, Theron, and Reeves. A uh, couple of the reveals at the end had me gasping at the screen. It had really deeply disturbing imagery and thematically it dealt with ideas like temptation, free will, vanity, greed, ambition, and the will to win at any cost. Personally, I think this film has aged remarkably well, and I think, if I'm bold enough, I think it might be on its way to be considered a classic sometime in the future. We'll see. I highly recommend this film for adults. 
Anyways, thank you for watching. I have a Patreon page. Consider being a patron. Subscribe to the channel. Um, click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you liked this video. Dislike it if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Bye.